Hey dudes, I just wanted to hop on and record for you guys a little sequence that I like to do with my foam roller to help relax my shoulders and kind of work out the pain and the kinks in my shoulders. Um, I got a lot of grindies, a, little, a lot of crunchies in there, um, and I got a lot of knots. So getting a foam roller like this is a great investment. You can get um, beginner foam rollers, I like to call them, that are just smooth, it doesn't have the nubs, and then you can get some that are like half smooth, half nubbly, and then this is like probably max nubness. Okay, so a good way to kind of work out those shoulders is um, to use this type of roller. Um, obviously, I would start on the beginner roll, of, like a flush roll, if you have one or if you can get access to one first, probably because this is a little bit intense at first. Um, but this is what I have here, and this is what I'm going to demonstrate with. Okay, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to lay on the roller. Okay, and you want to think of your hips being stacked one over one, one over another, so you're just kind of looking forward, and the roller's in your armpit. Okay, so if this is already too much pressure, then you're not even going to lift your hips. You're just going to get a little bit closer to it so that you can like gently rock forward and back. Okay, so my arm is straight out ahead and I don't want to like strain my neck. So my neck is just relaxed. My head is down a little and I'm rolling forward and back. Okay, at, at any point if this is not enough or even you can start this way, what you're going to do is you're going to press into your feet a little bit. You're going to press into this bottom hand and then you're going to lift your hips slightly so that you're rolling back and forth. So I'm pressing into the floor with my bottom feet or with my top foot and my bottom shin is just supporting me. Okay, from here, I'm going to do that, I don't know, let's say 10 times back and forth. And I'm not going to go as fast as I went either, okay? You're going to think about going nice and slow, okay? In a massage, your, mas your masseur, your massage therapist would go relatively slow, right? So you want to think of going slow enough so that you can kind of work through the muscle, work through the, the kink that you need to work through. And you also want to think of having a relaxed face. So if you're making like this face, you're going too hard, you're going too fast slow it down, ease off a little bit. You want to be able to keep a neutral poker face while you're doing this. So we rocked forward or we, we slid up and down. Now from here, we're just going to rock forward and back. So thinking of, I'm not in the middle. So thinking of lifting your chest and then lowering <coughs> your chest down to the floor. So again here, I'm going to roll through nice and slowly as I go forward and back. And again, I'm going to do like 10 forward and back. Okay. You can up the number, I guess, if you're like exceptionally sore or you're good at this but we're just gonna chill out here. Okay, and I'm gonna make sure that I do that on both sides, and I'm gonna make sure that I do that um, nice and slow again. Okay, again, you wanna keep that neutral face, and you don't wanna be kind of cringing in pain. Okay, from the back, I'm gonna turn around so you can see what it looks like. <clears throat> again, I have it in my armpit. I'm gonna lift that arm up. I'm gonna start by rolling forward and back as much as I can, okay? I can support my body with this hand either on the floor or on the on the foam roller itself. So you choose. From here again, you don't want to hold your head up too much. Relax your head down. I'm just rolling. I'm going very fast for how much I should be going, right? I should be going slowly, being able to work through it. And then from here, I can roll forward and back, rocking and rolling right forward and back working through that muscle okay again i'm gonna do about 10 forward and back and then 10 sliding up and down right after that i'm gonna <coughs> slowly come up and then the last thing that we're gonna do is kind of like an upper back mid back spine stretch all at the same time okay so from here what you're gonna do is you're gonna roll pardon me you're gonna roll the the roller down so you're about midway through your mat. That way you have some way to kind of roll up. Okay, and then you're gonna roll down so that the roller is at your neck. Okay, watch your hair. If your hair is down, put your hair up in a bun. Okay, then from here, you're gonna lift your arms overhead. Make sure you're in the middle of your roll. Arms are overhead. You're gonna lift the hips, and then actually you're not gonna lift the hips. I like, you're gonna keep the hips on the floor. And then you're gonna roll so that the roller is on your kink. Okay, so if you need to go a little bit lower, you don't really want to go more than about mid-back. So this is about as low as you would want to go. So the demonstration that I'm going, I'm about mid-back. My arch is nor or it's natural, it's not over-arched because it's not pushing up, okay? So first thing you can do is you can just chill here with your arms overhead, I don't have a lot of room. Okay, but arms are overhead, you can chill here for as long as it's comfortable. Again, remembering that entire process, my butt stayed on the floor, I didn't lift my bum up. And then when I've had enough, also remember, I rolled here rather slow. Don't roll too quickly through this. Take your time so you can feel it and enjoy it. 
after I've held this position for say, I don't know, 10 deep breaths, I'm gonna roll out again nice and slow. And then if I want, I can stop kind of midway and I can work through my upper back and that trap muscle, that shoulder blade muscle where there's this giant knot in my back and I can work through it here. Okay, so here my hips are lifted a little bit because I can handle the pressure. But if you like, but I'm very, very little off the ground, just rolling forward and back. Okay, then from here, I can even hold it and be a little bit more localized. Like I'm leaning onto the right, which is where that part of my muscle is hurting. And eventually I can come back to center and I'm gonna roll off sideways. Okay, don't just crank your body up in the opposite position that you were just doing. That being said, you can do that, I don't know, I wouldn't do that too many times, that spine roll, simply because your spine doesn't need that much, um, that many rolls, you don't want to overdo it, um, but you can do it maybe once or twice a day and not see any ill effects. That being said, um, definitely consult a doctor or a physiotherapist if anything like hurts exceptionally or if you have excruciating pain doing something, obviously you always want to consult with someone. Um, but this is just something that's working for me and I thought I would share it with you and hopefully it works for you. And that being said, if it's something you think that might be useful for someone else, feel free to share, feel free to share this video. That being said, also let me know what else you want to know about. So if there's a specific type of exercise or movement that you want me to go over, let me know in the comments. Um, otherwise, thank you for joining me and have a great night and a great day. Bye.